Hi, this video is all about drip emails, also known as drip campaigns, drip marketing or marketing automation. So in this video, I want to talk uh, in detail about what they are, why use them, how to use them, what are some of the examples and use cases and so on. If implemented correctly, a drip email system can drastically increase your email open rates and productivity. You can set them up uh, to convert prospects to customers, upsell to existing customers or for a better customer service experience. There are numerous use cases. So my goal is to ensure that by the end of this video, you not only understand what a drip email system is, but also what can do for your business and how you can implement it. I'll walk you through the whole process step by step. Here is what I will be talking about. One, what is a drip email system, AKA marketing automation? Two, drip email example. So I will deep dive into how to set up time-based and trigger-based drip systems with two examples. Three, best practices for creating a drip email system for your business. Four, marketing automation software is in the market and what to look for when selecting one. Five, a complete walkthrough for setting up a drip system with Active Campaign, a premium marketing automation software. And bonus tip, watch the video until the end because I will share an important tip in executing this strategy and some freelance resources that could help you implement the system. Okay, for easy navigation, I've organized this whole video in chapters with timestamps. So if you want to jump to a specific section, please refer to the description. Also, before we start, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out when we put a new video with an actionable tip or tactic that could help your business grow. All right, let's get started. So what is a drip email system, AKA drip campaigns or marketing automation? Well, simply put, a drip email campaign is when you send pre-written emails automatically through an email automation system. You can send them at a set time or when a user takes a specific action, you know, such as clicking a link on the email or when a user status changes and uh, the user becomes a customer. Most businesses use drip marketing to keep in touch with their audience in a personalized and targeted way. So what is drip marketing used for? Well, depending on your overall goals, you can use drip marketing campaign for things like increasing awareness of your brand, gathering customer data and feedback, promoting new products, building engagement and community, onboarding for upcoming events, getting back customers after they abandon a shopping cart. There are numerous use cases. Let me demonstrate with two examples. Drip campaign examples. The first example is a time-based drip email system in which you send email at predefined time intervals. This is good for lead nurturing and sending product or service information to educate the client to close the deal. Okay, suppose you're a Honda car dealership and you want to use drip emails to nurture the lead and help convert prospects to clients. So you want to first share information with the client on the benefits of owning a Honda Civic and then give them a promotion uh, you know, to sweeten the deal. Okay. So in this case, you could set up the flow something like this. Once the prospect's email is added to the list, the automation system will start. The first email should be a thank you email, which goes out after a delay of one hour after being added to the list. The second email talks about Honda Civic's reliability and efficiency and goes out after three days. The third email addresses Honda Civic's uh, you know, safety standards and crash test rating and goes out probably after three days as well. The fourth email gives information about Honda Civic's latest features, uh, such as Bluetooth or satellite navigation and goes out after three days. The fifth email compares uh, Honda Civic to its competitors and goes out after four days. For the sixth and the final email, share some raving client reviews plus add a limited time offer such as an extended warranty, uh, you know, free this week or something like that that gives a final push to the client. Obviously, this is a very simplified example. However, you get the idea of how powerful the system is. And once set up correctly, it can automatically work for you behind the scenes. Further, to truly automate, you could set up multiple flows for different scenarios. So in this case, when a prospect buys a car, you could use a drip email flow to educate them about car features and answer some frequently asked questions. And this would reduce your customer service calls. Or the second thing is that you could set up another drip flow where you could remind uh, the customers about car maintenance and oil change, you know, upselling your services. However, if the prospect does not buy the car, you could add them to a, to a cold leads flow and timely remind them of events and promotions. There could be many use cases. All right, next we come to example two, which is a trigger based system. Let's suppose you are a software company selling, uh, you know, booking software to photographers. And let's say the target market is New York City. 
So in this case, your goal is to send out an email blast to many photographers in New York City and requesting them for meeting you, uh, you know, for a product demo or something like that. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to create an email list uh, from scratch using Google Map listings, I have a complete step-by-step -step tutorial, which uh, you can see on the link above. I will also leave a link in the description. Okay, back to the drip campaign. So here's how we create a trigger-based drip campaign for this scenario. When you start a campaign, the system sends out an email blast to all the photographers on the email list. If the photographer opens the email, the system records that response and then after two days, sends him an email to request an appointment. However, if the photographer does not open the email, the system then sends him a follow-up email introducing the product. As you can see from the flow, you can set up many triggers, such as when the user opens the email or when he clicks a link, uh, etc. These two examples are by no means the only scenarios. You can create very complex flows in marketing automation based on your requirements. Best practices for setting up drip campaigns. Now, since you have some idea about drip campaigns, let's talk about some best practices to follow when creating a drip campaign. Okay, one, keep things simple and carefully review the whole flow. The more conditions you create, the more complex things become. Carefully review the rules to ensure that there are no conflicts that can lead to confusion. For example, make sure that the customer is not signed up for multiple flows simultaneously. You know, sending too many emails at once can overwhelm and irritate new customers and potentially lessen their engagement. Two, map out your campaign. So before launching your drip campaign, consider the following points. Identify your overall goal and what is it that you're looking to achieve. Determine your triggers, such as what actions you want to take when a customer clicks on the link in the email, etc. Decide how many emails you will send in your drip email sequence. Decide how will you personalize your content so it's more impactful. Know when to remove customers from a drip email sequence. So for example, when a prospect becomes a customer, move them to a customer service flow. Include all emails, SMSs and other messages in your plan to avoid overlapping. Three, don't send too many emails asking customers to subscribe or buy. A drip campaign can have between four to 11 emails send at least a few days apart. However, the best number depends on the type of campaign. For example, a lead nurturing campaign can include multiple weekly emails, while a prospecting campaign can have a longer delay between the first and the second message. A common misconception about drip email campaigns is that they should be sent in large numbers to get subscribers to buy. Don't do that. The best strategy is to get the value across to your subscribers without being too pushy. Okay, four, make the emails easy to skim. Most email recipients don't actually read the entire email. You know, instead they skim the content searching for something they like. This means structuring them in a way that allows them to quickly take as much information as possible. Five, evaluate and adjust. Drip campaigns are very convenient and time saving. You set them up once and they work for you 24 seven. However, don't forget to follow their results and adjust if needed. Only by testing different texts, imagery, and additional information will you find what best works for your customers. Okay, next, we talk about a few known drip email softwares. So, effective drip campaigns need a good marketing automation platform. There are many excellent tools in the market to choose from, each offering a variety of unique features and pricing structures. Some of the known uh, softwares are ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, HubSpot, OmniSend, ConvertKit, Klaviyo, Drip, and Snowview. This by no means is an exhaustive list. There are many more. So, when you are selecting a software, you need to pick something that can, one, accommodate automation for most scenarios so that when your business grows, your software can accommodate new flows. Two, is easy to build and preferably has a good and easy flow builder. You know, a drag and drop system so that you can see uh, the flow end to end. And three, has good reporting so you know what works and what does not. I've used MailChimp, Snowvio, ActiveCampaign, and many others, and I would recommend ActiveCampaign as they have many pre-built templates and numerous options to accommodate simple and complex flows. Please see the description for all the links. Also, I want to add that none of these websites are sponsoring me to promote their product. I've used these websites for my own purpose and have liked them, so I wanted to share. That's all. Okay, with that out of the way, let me walk you through an example for implementing a marketing automation system using ActiveCampaign. Okay. Go to activecampaign.com and create an account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Once you log in, you come to the dashboard. To set up automation, we need three things. One, we need an input form to enter the prospect's name and email. Two, we need an email list 
that will capture the prospect's email from the form. And three, we need the drip email system that activates when a new email is added to the prospect's list via the form. Okay, let's begin with creating the list. Go to contacts, lists, add a list, add the list name as prospect. Click add and you can see that the empty list is created. Next, let's add a form. I've already created a form, but I will show you how to do it. Go to the website, forms, create a form, add the name and then under actions, select subscribe to the list and in options, select the list which we just created, prospects. Now you can see the Honda Civics form. There are different ways uh, to integrate the form into your website, Facebook page, etc. But we will use the link for this example. Okay, let's quickly check to see if the email is getting added to the list. Let us add a name and email and hit submit. You can see that the name and email is added to the prospects list. So everything is working fine. Next, let us set up the automation. Click on create automation. We will create the automation from scratch, but you can see that there are many pre-made templates that you can use with little customization. Okay, click on start from scratch. Next, add a trigger. A trigger is something that starts the automation sequence. In our case, that would be when someone submits the form, which adds the email to the prospects list. Next, we need to add a few emails to the automation to educate the client and finally an email in which we will give him the offer. So as per example one, this is what we'll add in the automation sequence. The first email will be a thank you email, which will go after delay of one hour after being added to the list. The second email will be a uh, Honda Civic reliability and efficiency, which goes after three days. The third email will be Honda Civic safety standards and uh, crash test rating, which again goes after three days. The fourth email is Honda Civic's latest features, uh, which goes after three days. For the fifth email, we'll do a comparison of Honda Civic with its competitors, which goes after four days. And the final email will be with awesome client reviews plus, uh, you know, a limited IO offer. Obviously, this is a very simplified example. However, you get the idea of how powerful the system is and once you set up correctly, it can automatically work for you behind the scenes. Okay, now for the bonus tip as promised. When creating a drip flow, incorporate two variants for each email, especially for trigger-based emails. So you know which message resonates better with your customers and has a better conversion and open rates. This strategy, aka AP split testing, is often overlooked but still, in my opinion, it is crucial because it gives you direct insights into what is working with your customers and what needs improvement. You can then drop the one that is not working and keep the one that is. I understand that this could be a lot of emails and content. So if you like writing emails, that's great. However, if you are not particularly fond of writing emails, then there are two options. One is outsourcing. So hire a freelancer from a website such as Fiverr. There are professionals who can write all the emails for you within the sequence or create a drip flow or both. I mean, they can do everything for you. You know, I'll leave some links in the description. The second option is to use artificial intelligence content generating software to quickly generate emails and other form of content. This is a cheaper and quicker option. And over the years, AI software have become very sophisticated. So if you want to learn more about AI content writing softwares and how to use them, click the video or you can see another video from Flipbytes by clicking or tapping the screen. I can't wait to see you in the future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.